Hello everybody, this is an instructional video on how to use uh, Bulldog uh, or Cody for that matter if you've never used either one. They're both the same. Uh, Cody is the actual um, program, the Bulldog is the main system that I've made. Um, you have all different types of categories that you can choose from. You got movies, TV shows, sports, I know everybody can read. Just go up and down and stuff. Each uh, program has, I mean, sorry, each category has their own uh, sub menu. If you just hit enter or you move to the right, it'll open up a sub menu of all these different add ons. Every add on has different functions. Um, s some of them are, are similar. If you've ever used Genesis or Exodus, uh, those aren't being updated anymore. In, other people have like basically mimicked them. Um, these top five ones right here are just like Genesis and Exodus. And at least, well, Elysium is already there. But Zen is another one that people were using, and that's not being updated anymore, as far as I know. I know I could be wrong about some of my information, but that's it. Anyway, if you want to, uh, let's say you want to find a movie, um, let's go to Covenant. Now once you get into Covenant, it has all different types of uh, categories on how to find your movie. You can go search by genre, year, people. Again, I know you guys can read, but um, I'm going to show you some shortcuts. Right here, if you go to people watching, you could find some of the more current films like The Hitman's Bodyguard, Despicable Me. It'll tell you a little bit about the... Uh, the, the day, I mean, the year that came out, how long the movie is, what type of uh, genre it is, and I'll tell you a little bit about it right here. Plus, you get a neat little uh, box cover if you uh, if you want to see what it looked like uh, if you don't recognize the name. All right, let me back out. Oops, went too far. Okay, back to this. So let's go to the previous menu. That's what I meant to do. Okay. So let's say you know the name of your movie. You don't want to go through all that. You know, go through people watching. And then, you know, go, on, go through page after page uh, looking for movies. What you could do is go right down here to the very bottom of the uh, menu. Search. If you're at the top of the menu, just press the up button. It'll take you to the bottom. Hit search. A little keyboard will pop up. And this is where you type in the movie. So let's say... Uh, my favorite movie of all time is called The Godfather. So let's say I want to watch The Godfather. I'll just type it in. And hit done. It's going to say busy. It's going to look for everything that has the word Godfather in it. So you got Disco Godfather. Oops. Let me go to the top of the menu. Oops. You got The Godfather. Godfather Part 2. Godfather Part 3. You know, all this Disco Godfather. Godfather Legacy. Let's say we want to watch the classic. So I, I see that it's uh, 1972. That's around the time it was made. It tells you a little bit about it. I already know. And just off of judging the, the box cover, I know that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on that, The Godfather. It's going to come up with this uh, saying it's looking for providers and stuff. So basically, it's looking for all the links that, um, that have uh, that that Godfather uh, movie on it. And this will probably take anywhere from 10 seconds to, um, you know, I've seen it take as long as about like 45 seconds a minute. But you just wait for the whole progress bar to go all the way to 100%. And then once it does, it's going to, um, it's going to show you a list of all the, the links that for that just that one movie. As far as you can see right here, um, there's 30 different links for this one movie. Right over here, you can tell the definition of the um, of the movie itself. Any movie that's like a, a month or older is most likely going to be HD or standard definition. It's something that just came out Friday or you know yesterday or uh, or sometime this weekend or maybe even the last two or three weeks, you'll see Cam or you might not see anything. But since this is an older movie, I know it's going to be HD, so I'm going to just click on this. And it's going to, when I, after I click on it, it's going to try this link, this link, this link. I think it tries like about 15 links. 
Uh, once he gets to the top, you know, a good link that has like a strong, uh, um, strong signal or a strong stream, you know, less buffering, it'll automatically start that movie. Now, if it gets to right here and it starts the movie, then that means that this is this is out of the top four or five. This is the best one. And even after you start the movie, it may start buffering. What I would do is back out till you get to this menu and then just try another different link. So if you know they tried these three and it, and it started with this one, try something down here. So we're going to start at the top and see what it says. It's going to go. Looks like the first one worked. It's going to say busy up here. And then it should automatically load. There we go. I'm right, we'll stop right there. And that's how you do searches for movies. Um, go back to the main menu. Now with movies, if you um, if you want, there's also a way that you can play most of the most current movies without having to do any type of search. Um, it should load up right around here. You'll see a whole bunch of movie box covers uh, uh, pop up. Sorry guys, I got slow internet, so I guess it's kind of uh, moving a little slow at its own pace. There we go. Alright, to get to this, you just press, open up the side menu, then press to the right one more time, and it'll take you over here. And as you can see, it's on Wonder Woman. Oops, let me go back. Let's start the Hitman's Bodyguard. So it, you can just click on any one of these and it should start up. So let's try the Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, it's going to do the movie providers. And another thing to note, not all add-ons are like this. Some of them you can just click on the movie and it automatically play. Um, that's why there are other add-ons in the movie section. So don't just worry about going to Covenant or Elysium or Flix, Flixnet. And it'll come up with all the uh, streams for when we click on Guardians of the Galaxy. So let me try that. Top one. Notice it did say HD. Um, the other add-ons, uh, like one I'm going to show you is called M4U. It automatically plays, once you do a search, it'll automatically play the movie. Oh, there it is. See, there we go. It says opening stream. Now then it says busy right up here at the top. Um, there's other other add-ons that just have like nothing but older movies. There's an add-on that has nothing but horror movies. You know, I give you lots of different options. All right, so we're gonna pause that, and that's the Guardians of the Galaxy. You see, another thing you want to know is right here. It'll tell you how long the movie is and um, how far you are in the movie. I just paused it, of course. It'll also tell you the finish time. It'll tell you all this stuff down here, too. Right now, it's 10.45. By the time this movie is over, it'll be finished in one, at 1 or 1 p.m. Um, some add-ons, they'll tell you the definition. This is 540, so it's not quite true high definition, but it's not the worst, either. Uh, 480 was the old 90s and 80s TV, you know, TV definitions. 720 and 1080 are the most the most current. Uh, Blu-ray would be the best, but in 4K, but you never know what you're gonna get. But for me, as long as I see the movie. Now you have, the, have all the different other options. You can start to end the movie, you can fast forward. Um, over here, is that? over here you can put on subtitles. There's ways you just play around with this. Anyway, I'm gonna back out of this. Actually, I should. You know what? Hit the stop. Okay. And that is how you do movies.